Hey, John Park here, and I am going to take a look at how to use the pocket operator with the black box. And I'm just going to sample some sounds off of this pocket operator tonic onto some cells on the black box. Here we go. Uh, so, first of all, if we take a look at the pads section, of the black box. Uh, I've already got some samples in here, so let's take a look at what those are, then I'll clear it out. We'll make a new sample uh, preset. So, let's get that a little louder. All right, that was nice and loud. Uh, so those were all sampled off of the pocket operator. And I think right now I might be able to play through. Let's hit stop there. Might be able to play through. Yeah. So there's some stock sounds off of the tonic. We can adjust the parameters on those. Um, so let's take a look though if we want to start a preset from scratch. So what I'll do is head to presets and we'll do new. And here it's called new preset one. We can go ahead and rename that and got to be careful because the delete button is right above the enter button so i'm going to say p o tonic two and i like to just put my initials at the end of these so that i see what uh which ones are mine and which ones are stock and hit enter okay so now what i'll do is uh head to this p o tonic two jp and hit load and you'll see this one's empty no samples in it uh, and so to create our first uh, sample i'm going to hit info and since there's not a uh, a sample in there we can either record into this slot or load from a preset uh, sound a wave file that's on the disc so let's take a look um, at what's happening here when i hit let's record that one all right so we'll Okay, so I'll tune that the way I want it, and then we can either do a single clip or we can record a little uh, a little melody or a little bass line, a little uh, drum pattern. But for now, let's just take the uh, the single sample into there. So um, I got the volume full up on the pocket operator, and it's running into the first input slot. And I've got the gain set to 12, so that's as high as it goes. Here's here's that uh, zero. Okay, so we'll get that boosted up a bit. Uh, and now I can just simply hit record and play, and then I'll record a single uh, hit of that sound, and then hit stop. Okay, so this is what it's required. I hit stop there, it stopped, there it is. So now if we look at uh, the info window, there's our wave file, we can play it from here with this uh, play button. Plays through. Uh, this is what it's named it, so let's go ahead and rename that. So I'll hit the sort of default name and I've got a folder I made on the computer, it's called JP Samples. So let's go in, let's see, how do I go in there? I don't know how I go in there. Whoops, let's go back for a second. All right, so this 24, let's rename it. I don't know if I can actually put it in there. So let's, that might be something best done on the computer. So let's just rename it here. Uh, and the way I'm naming these is I'm gonna call it PO and we'll just call it WUB. And then again, uh, which pocket operator it is. I have a couple of these, so I'm going to call this one Tonic. So PO Wub Tonic, enter. That's his name now. I think it's going to have to live out here. I can't move it, um, but I can later on the computer go in and put it into my JP samples. All right, so J, uh, PO Wub, there you are. I've got autoplay mode. And now we've got three options. It can be a sample, it can be a clip, and it can be in slicer mode. Um, so there's nothing to slice on this one, and then the difference, uh, one of the main differences between sample and clip is going to be time stretching. Um, so if we 
go to keys on this, let's go to C4, that's the same uh, sort of neutral spot. <laughs> Okay, so that is, oops, come back, in sample mode. Now if I go to clip mode, same, sounds the same. Uh, oh, I got it in toggles. We'll uh, have a look at that in a second. But if I go to keys, okay, we've got to change that now. Sorry. All right, so we'll go, and instead of toggling it, which means it's just going to loop it, uh, we'll trigger it instead, so I'll just play it once through. All right, so back to keys. And let's jump up an octave. So notice how long the sample plays for, even though it's being repitched. Now if we go back here and change to sample mode, you can hear the higher pitch it is, the shorter it is, and if we drop it lower, it's going to take a long time to play through. So it depends on what you're using the sample for, but in this case, we'll go to clip mode and then I can play it on the keyboard and it'll be the consistent length of the um, uh, sample time stretched. Okay. Oh, did I change that again? toggle mode. I think that, that uh, automatically went to toggle mode when I switched uh, this to clip. All right, so now we're in clip mode. Um, it's triggering it, so it'll play it all the way through when we hit the key. You could also gate mode, and then if you release off of uh, a trigger or off of a, a key, it'll stop immediately. Uh, you can repitch this if you wanted to. <laughs> So if you wanted to set everything to a certain pitch uh, to start with, you could you could do that here. I'll leave it alone and set it back to zero. Uh, you could filter it from here. So high pass, and if I go below zero, it'll low pass. Now I think this will allow two note polyphony, so you can see up here it says poly. So if we head, uh, let's go up, which sounds kind of crappy with this, so I'm going to switch this to monophonic just for this particular sample. It doesn't make, doesn't make me happy to hear that in poly mode. So uh, also mono mode uses less uh, CPU, less resources, so it's uh, more efficient. And let's see, anything else on that? Um, so loop mode, it's not looping. If we go to toggle and have it loop, we can adjust those. We'll do that with a different uh, different one on a different day. Um, so that, oh, let's just leave, leave it at that. That's the really most basic form of sampling in something off of another piece of gear. So now we can play it. And if we want to, we can go ahead and sequence it now. Uh, one thing to check before we start playing it is what is the quantization size. Uh, I think this defaults to one bar. I'm going to set this to 16th notes, so I can play 16ths on it, and it'll record them with that quantization. So uh, let's go to a empty sequence. They're all empty. Uh, and now we can... Or if we want to play them on the keys, uh, if we head to sequence mode, we can undo. I'll undo the last record we've done into there. Uh, it's the only one in this case. Or we can, let's see. Okay, so let's record something there. Go. Now we got a whole bunch of drums and other good things to go ahead and sample off of the pocket operator if you want to use it that way. All right, I uh, hope that was helpful.
Thank you.